this is the infamous 8 HP gearbox. 8 HP, this is the, I think the latest technology in automatic transmissions. So it's been around for a while, but the aftermarket capability to control these gearboxes hasn't been available until now. So other than the quick gear shifts, they seem to be very strong. So there's a couple of different models available. In our country, you get an 8 HP 70. So the 70 stands for 700 Newton meters of torque that it can handle. And then like all the new Dodge uh, Demon and Chargers, they come with an 8 HP 90. So what we've seen on the internet, a stock 8 HP 70 that's handling a thousand horsepower. So there is no manual gearbox or normal automatic gearbox that we know of that will be able to handle a thousand horsepower without touching the gearbox. What do these boxes go for? Average going rate uh, for a good gearbox, we're seeing about 30,000 Rand for the gearbox and then, then it's still in a good condition. So it doesn't work like a normal automatic gearbox, it's quite sophisticated and involved. The actual physical ECU sits inside the Megatronics. So it's the Megatronics that makes the solenoids and everything work. The problem is this thing's got a physical ECU inside the gearbox. If you look here, so this is the solenoid tank and this is the actual, the physical ECU controlling everything sits in here. So this thing gets CAN bus information from the original ECU to control everything. So what we do now is we physically take this ECU out uh, we've got a PC board that goes, gets soldered in here and sealed up and we physically bring the solenoid wires out so that we can control it from the external controller and that's where the TCU comes in use. A couple of years back it was impossible to mm. use this gearbox in anything else. Okay. If you didn't have the original ECU controlling the whole car, it, this gearbox can't work. So you've got ZF's latest greatest gearbox but you it, you can't control it until now so this is the this is the actual turbo lamic ecu um comes nicely parceled so ecu is included with the gearbox plugs so if we come back again the physical control the OEM control unit, that's this little thing here, gets taken out. Uh, a small PC board gets in here to link all the solenoids. And then it physically comes out with wires and gets connected outside the gearbox now. You can mount it anywhere in your car? Anywhere in your car, yes. Other than this thing now, controlling the gearbox, it opens up many other options for this gearbox. This is quite popular overseas for all the drift guys. You've got your mode switch, so this is all optional extras that we also have in stock. So this is a little mode switch that will get wired to your TCU. So, and you can predefine position one to eight what you want it to do. So let's say you just want to drive normal, you put it to mode one, the car will drive soft shift, drive nicely as an OEM car. So say, now I want to, now I want to race. So, or I want to go to manual mode, that's programmed to position two. Uh, you've got a manual shifter here, and you can physically, although it's an automatic gearbox, you can shift this thing as a full sequential. So this shifter is actually made to have the feel of a physical gearbox shifting, a sequential shifter. Is that shifter available here as well? Yes, it's likely available in stock. Optional extras with the gearbox controller. Um, so either the ECU plug comes with, uh, we can sell you the gearbox plug. You can wire it in yourself. Or like always, we also offer a complete plug and play harness for the gearbox. So this thing is already plugs into the gearbox, plugs into your ECU. Uh, your mode switch will be wired in for you. Uh, if you want to use your OEM gear lever, it can work with it. And then you go. Everything is now electronic. So it's, it's got built-in trans brake. It's got built-in bump. One step further, you can drive this in manual, in manual mode. 
So you can have this physical feel of a gear lever, or you can put paddles behind the steering wheel, whichever suits you. Also the LCD screen, this is an option, also extra. So little LCD screen. So this will tell you in what gear you are, uh, usually oil temperature, and also in what mode you are. Auto, manual, or whichever mode you're in. Like everything at Dictator, the backup supports you. So obviously we're selling the product, um, we're using it ourselves, and the backup will also come from us. The software is freely available, you can plug it in, you can tune and do what you want to. So I get the gearbox, I want to fit it to a Ford Barrow motor, what do I do? Okay, so then management for the gearbox was one hurdle, and then obviously the next thing is how to mate it to the thing. Because these gearboxes don't have a physical ballast you can unbolt, the adapters or adapting it to engines is the biggest problem. Now we've overcome that, so we are official agents for Domi Works Engineering, which is a company in Sweden um, that's now making proper billet adapters for the 8HP to all the popular engines. So for now, we're keeping all the popular ones, popular ones in stock. We would like to stay and specialize with the 8HP stuff, but also uh, Domi Works make for DCT. Obviously, if somebody wants something, they can check Domi Works website out and they can contact us and we can quote and bring it in for them. So here's an example, uh, one of our better test engines. This is an 8HP 70. Um, in 57 as they call it, so this would have come out of a six-cylinder diesel BMW here by us. So here it's got the, the beautiful billet adapter. So inside you'll see now the torque converter adapter, but this is what the kit looks like. So it comes with all the hardware, and it's a straight, straight bolt-on to your engine. The kit comes with nice cap screw, zinc-plated cap screws. All the hardware included. This is a 1J, 2J kit, so we've just taken taken off all the wrapping. But this is how it comes. So it's beautiful. This is the actual billet torque converter adapter, and then this is the actual adapter plate for the balancing. So this will bolt to your uh, engine, and obviously. The gearbox will go to it this side. But everything is complete. Beautiful. Everything is complete. All the hardware included. It's a real straight fit. No mods needed. So popular models that are in stock right now is for 2J, 1J or 2J, Ford Barra engine, LS V8 engines that also work on small block Chevys, old style small block Chevys. 1UZ, so Lexus V8 engines, and also the new Ford Coyote V8 engines. In stock, ready to go. So like most of our products here, we test it or use it ourselves before we want to sell and make sure how it works. So we tested the kit in Chris's course. Our first um, aim was to try and make the TCU work on its own with a local management. The tissue obviously needs information to work, so it needs some basic informi information like uh, it needs a brake switch, it needs throttle position, it needs RPM input. So what's nicest with this tissue, it can work full standalone, so it's got analog inputs. So if you've got a, like a local management like a dictator, so you can get RPM input from it and a map sensor input from it, but you can physically wire it in analog to it and we got it to work here. Where it's got the capability with the higher end managements like Haltech and ECU Master that talks CAN bus, which is much easier because all the information from the ECU comes over to the TCU. So you connect CAN bus and it sees everything and it works. And then you can get even more clever. Uh, the TCU can send information back for torque reduction on shifts, throttle blip, all of that.
capability of this thing is now in your hands. I'm not big on drifting, but the Drift Oaks needs to double clutch. So what do you do now? You can't do it with an auto, but yes, you can with a turbolamic. So they've got a virtual clutch input. So you, you can put a physical clutch pedal in the car with a switch and electronically you're telling the turbo lamy it's a clutch so it will you can physically double clutch the gearbox it's an auto gearbox and you can double clutch it or you can stop put the virtual clutch in rev the car to limiter and dump the clutch and it will launch which you can't do with a normal gearbox so there's so much power in this gearbox and ECU that's now in your hands. What gearbox on the market can you buy which can drive like an OEM high-end BMW and by a turn of a button can be an awesome race gearbox? So I think it appeals to anybody, even if you just want a nice auto box or if you want to race with it. But that's, that's, that's the, beauty the beauty of it. Yeah.